Hey guys, welcome to Pat's Adventure Life. Sorry it's been a little while since I've been making videos. There's been a lot going on. There's been a lot of personal stuff, COVID, and I just haven't been able to get, get out. So, this is my 2007 Prado. I'm Pat, and welcome to my videos. Yeah, so a few things have changed with my setup. Um, not sure if you guys know, so I put the, the Titan drawers in, did that myself pretty easy, it took a couple of hours. Uh, got this box, uh, my table, chair for when I go uh, out camping. So I've also got a battery box, which I'll show you guys. Just going to try uh, with the basics with power, lighting and things like that at the moment. I haven't got a fridge yet, so that's something that I'll be looking at in the future. Um, yeah, so Glen Davis, it's going to be cold, it's going to be like 2 degrees overnight, but that's alright. Uh, and I've got a new XTM single swag that I got from BCF. I've been weathering it, or um, you can call it seasoning. So what you have to do is, you got to when you, when you first get it, when they're brand new, you have to wet it. Uh, you have to unroll it, put the pegs on, and get the hose and wet it. Uh, probably 2-3 times, so you've got to wet it, dry it, wet it, dry it. There are lots of, lots of videos out there on YouTube about seasoning swags and you have to do it because it's a canvas it's canvas and it needs to close up all these seals all these uh, little holes if not you're going to get wet when it rains out there uh, so I've done that a lot three four times and I'm just drying it out now it's a beautiful day today so it's a good day to do it and yeah I'm just going to roll it up and then chuck it in and this will be where I'll sleep it's, it's Wednesday morning I'm all packed and ready to go so it's yeah it's a beautiful day come along for the ride and let's see what happens beautiful day but, uh yeah it's just foggy at the moment which means it's going to be a nice day just driving past the zigzag railway station, Clarence, that's been rebuilt at the moment. We're just at Kapiti. I'm turning right into Glen Davis Road. I just wanted to show you guys some of the beautiful areas that we will drive through. There are some beautiful bridges and some gorgeous, gorgeous um, scenes of mountains it's just such an amazing area we go through some turnoffs a um, couple of intersections but it's really well signed to Glen Davis campground and we camped at Kuronguba Campground. This is one of the main reasons I've got a bull bar installed on the Prado. As there's cows, kangaroos, some big kangaroos, and I've been so close to hitting them. All right guys, we're at Glen Davis. What a beautiful day. Just looking, looking around. What a gorgeous camp spot. I'm just setting up my swag 
and I'm getting hot already it's quite warm in the sun it's beautiful just getting some lunch ready just got some goslemi uh, so this is the new gas mate stove it's so this is the this is the gas mate butane comes with it and I don't know how long one of these will last but we'll see how we go I've got three of these canisters so we'll just have a look and see what happens so I was going through stuff and I'm like don't forget anything I've been packing for a week don't forget anything guess what I forgot couldn't believe it the marshmallows for the fire <sighs> but luckily luckily the local shop down the road had marshmallows so paid premium but that's all right we got marshmallows for the fire uh nolly's over there and i think we're just going to use that fire later on so we'll just hang around there tonight and uh yeah we'll just take it as it comes take it easy enjoy relax it's a beautiful day and uh yeah three days of camping Oh, check this place out. It's beautiful. You can hear a lot, a lot of birds. A lot of animal life around. Alright guys, this is my mate Nully. Hello. Nully and I used to work together uh, until about four or five years ago. Yep. That's Andrew. So he's chopping up some wood. They want me to get the fire going. So look at him go. I'm staying back. I'm nervous. <laughs> well done, mate. Hey, Pat, and um, Pat, Pat, put your head there. Oh yeah, thank you very much. Oh, lovely. So I've got my little teepee happening here. They want me to get the fire going. So we'll see what happens. Hey, we'll see what happens. We'll see if. I can get that started. We'll see. So this is our little setup, guys. This is the fire. And now this setup here, he's got like all his stuff on the table. And that's me. That's my little setup over there. So Yeah, so this is me, it's my basic setup. I've got the table here, got my chair, and this is the swag. So we're not gonna use this fire tonight, we're gonna use the one up there. Just like a commune fire thing happening over there. All right guys, so I'm gonna, just gonna make a cup of coffee. All right, um, coffee time. Right. I'm just going to boil some water. And as you can see, it's boiling five minutes, pretty good. Like, it's not full, just enough for just enough for a cup of coffee. Doesn't boil instantly, but hey, five minutes that's all right. I'm happy with that for a cup of coffee. Cool. Got my little plunger and uh, happy days. All right. So someone brought these big logs from over there and wrecked my TP. Can't get good help these days. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> He's laughing. Well, right, let's see if we can get this fire going. See what happens. It's lit. We'll see if we can keep it going. All right. All right. It's off. She's lit. We're just gonna keep putting more stuff on. So uh, yeah, Noel brought a whole trailer load from home. Whole trailer load of stuff. So we've got plenty of timber for the next two, three days. So yeah, it's good. All right, guys. So for dinner. Where I'm just cooking some sausages, some pre-made pasta, and that's it. Just going to keep it simple today, tonight, 
in the morning I'll probably have a nice bacon and eggs breakfast or something. Morning guys. Yeah, it's about nine o'clock. Still freezing cold. It's about one degree at the moment. I'm trying to get uh, some breakfast on, but the butane, because it's so cold, it's not working. I can't get a flame. So in winter, uh, at these temperatures, you've got to bring gas. Um, this thing's just not going. So I'm just going to use my mate Noel's gas cooker just to make some breakfast, but it is cold. My fingers are hurting. Uh, had a good night's sleep. So it was, yeah, I, I slept well in the, in the swag. Um, had a blanket, no problems. Um, it was good. It was, I had a good sleep. But uh, yeah, it's a gorgeous day. The sun's gonna come through. Once the sun comes through to us, um, yeah, we'll be fine. Once the sun hits us. Yesterday afternoon, yeah, it was it was quite warm. So just gotta wait till the sun comes through. We've got the fire going. The fire's been happening for a while. But uh, yeah, it's cold. We're just on the way to Glen Davis town. I've never been there. Nully's gonna show me um, around there. It was, uh, yeah, just before, probably about nine o'clock, got really cold before the sun came around. Oh my gosh, my fingers were freezing, it was hurting. And um, yeah, but that was all right. Once the sun came over, now it's beautiful. It's uh, 11 degrees at the moment. It, the car did say one this morning, so it was pretty cold. Um, but in saying that I slept really well, there's no problems with the swag. I think tonight I'll put some uh, put thicker socks on. Uh, my, my feet were a little bit cold this morning, but that was I was fine until you know just before I had to get out of bed. Got, slept in till 7:30, so that was good. Had a good sleep. All right, guys. So we've actually just turned up at so Glen Davis Shale Oil Works so they this place is closed so you're not allowed to go in here private property but you can they charge you 20 bucks and you can do a tour but uh yeah so that's it it's all run down now and it's all gated off But now they just do tours to here. I'm just going to walk up to the top a little bit. Also guys, SAS Australia, it's a TV program, was filmed here. And that's probably why it's private property, that's why it's closed off. And Nali knows a little bit about it, he's just going to tell us a little bit about it. So what happened here Nali? This was originally the shale pits. And they used to extract a shale, get the oil out of the shale. Um, been sitting here for years, obviously. Now, SAS Australia use it as their base camp. And um, pretty good thing to see if you want to travel out this way and have a look at it. And uh, enjoy your weekend while you're up here. Yeah, and they, they do tours. Which I've never, I've never done a tour. I haven't done a tour yet. I actually didn't know about it till till today till we rocked up and Noli told me all about it that's a payphone from way back all right guys so this is the other side of where we were just before the ruins and that's just yeah this just comes through so it's all private property so we can't go through it unfortunately but We're just on the other side of it. So Glen Davis Campground we're at. We're just doing a tour of Glen Davis, just driving around, checking it out. Oh, and there's showers here. This is a different campground to where we are. 
but you can camp here if you can't get into if the river's flooded and you can't get in you can camp here Quite a bit going on around here. Village of Glen Davis Community Centre. So they are there are showers, toilets there with hot water. Come in handy if you want a shower. So just warming up some goslemi guys, it's about 1 o'clock, 1.30, just for lunch and it's working fine. So when it was like 0, 1 degree this morning, nah, it didn't like it. So butane, obviously when it's really cold, doesn't like it, it doesn't work. So next time, winter camping, I'll bring gas. Um, also water, we're down to there, so... That's all the water I've used since I got here from yesterday. That's probably, I've only used like, that's a 10 litre. I've probably only used like 8 litres, so just by myself, just washing, drinking. 20 litres for a couple of days is plenty. So I brought 40 litres, but that's alright. Alright guys, as I said yesterday, or the day before, whenever, um, this is the battery box. So at the moment, I've been running, I've been running these lights, outside lights, uh, outdoor lights, so this one's got white and red if you need, if, uh, if you're in the bush and you've got a lot, of, a lot of bugs and stuff, so I'm just simply running this cord outside and I've got a light outside. Uh, first time I've used it this weekend, I've already charged my phone this morning, I've charged um, the battery for this camera, um, main reason I've got it is to run a fridge, but as you know, I haven't got one yet, but that's alright. We're just starting with basic stuff, and yeah, it's been good, it's been good. I've got to find, I've got to get tie down points for this, put in somewhere, most probably in the back of the driver's seat or something, so I can tie it down, and it's out of the way. So, it's another XTM product. Um, yeah, it's, you can get it from BCF, it's not an expensive one, it's just a basic cheap one, but it does me for the moment, so, um, yeah, there you go, XDM powered battery box. Morning guys, so it's the third and final morning, I'm just packing up, ready to go, it's about 9am, it's another beautiful day, I've had a great time just camping, um, just relaxing seeing some new sights around here it's been a beautiful time i'm just gonna just wait until the swag dries out just the sun will come over in a little while and, and then i'll pack that up please give me a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and yeah i'll see you soon okay see ya bye